All right, all right. Jesus is Lord. The word works, and I'm excited about it. <clears throat> now, how does faith come? Somebody said, well, Pastor, you said, you know, I have the gift of faith. You do if you're born again. How did it come? It came by hearing the word of God. Now, listen. You were born again by the incorruptible seed of the Word of God. <clears throat> we're, we're saved by grace through faith. It, the faith, is the gift of God. Somebody said, well, it could be grace. Oh, yeah, well, that's, that's God's gift, good, good, goodness, grace. Yeah, it's all good. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. 23rd Psalm. But faith was the gift of God that you got when you heard the word. Now, maybe you were sitting in some little church and some preacher was preaching about the need to be born again, the need to receive Jesus as your Lord. You didn't want to go to hell. You wanted to go to heaven. You wanted your life changed. You heard that. So you got born again by hearing. Or maybe you were sitting in front of the television someplace and you saw Billy Graham or some other great evangelist talking about the need to be born again, and that faith came and you responded. Faith for healing is the same way. You hear what the Word says about healing, and all it wants, faith on the inside of you, you will respond, and you will receive the miracle of healing. Now, somebody said this, and so I'm using this as a teaching example today. Well, you know if God would heal so-and-so, the pastor of the church. If God would heal Pastor John over there at the church, while well, the whole church and the whole community would just have faith and they'd move mountains and all that, no faith doesn't come by seeing a miracle. In fact, in the New Testament, every time there was some kind of a tremendous miracle, when Jesus did some great miracle, it says they were filled with wonder and amazement. Everybody said, Ooh, wow, yeah, boy, that's wonderful. And it would be wonderful if Pastor John got healed. That would be great. But that's not how faith comes. Faith, Romans 10, faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So what do I do? I get my Bible out here, hold on a minute. I get my Bible, just sit there and read my Bible and just stare at my Bible and, you know, just hold that thing up there and say, ooh, I'm getting faith because I'm hearing the Word. Yes and no. The best way for you to hear the Word of God is to memorize it, place it in your heart, and mutter it. Say it. Because you believe you when you don't believe anybody else. So, I need faith for healing, okay? So, you know, something's happened in my body. It's not well, and I need faith for healing. What do I do? I take the Word of God. I get it down in my heart in abundance. I memorize it. You know, the Bible says, 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes I was healed. I meditate on that. Jesus bore my sicknesses on the tree, Matthew 18, 19. No, Matthew... Uh, 18 something anyway he bore my sicknesses on the tree and with his stripes i was healed i muttered that i think about that mm, okay and then i see myself in that position and then i say it body you're healed because the word says now watch i'm going to hear it with my ear when i say because the word says so i'm hearing what i'm saying and i'm hearing it with my inner ear you can close up your ears and say what the Word says, and you're still going to hear it with that inner ear. So your inner ear hears it. It gets down in your heart in abundance, and then you say it again out of your mouth. Well, the Word says I'm healed. Uh, I'll tell you what. The Word says that he sent his Word and healed me, Psalm 107, verse 20, uh, who healeth all thy diseases. That is uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 36 or 38. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about healing all that were oppressed of the devil. I'm oppressed of the devil. Sicknesses of the devil. And so I say that. And as I say that, I hear that. My inner man hears that. And faith cometh. That's the only way that faith is going to come. It's not going to come by having heard it a long time ago. I, I need to say this. Yesterday, I had to go down to the church. My son passes the church that we founded 30, 40 years ago now. And uh, something that I do for the church is I go down and I cut the grass just to be a blessing. That's part of my giving to the church because I'm not the pastor now. Mark is. So I had to load up my lawnmower on the trailer, get my pickup truck, and go down and cut the grass. Cut the grass, 
Uh, and on the way back, you know, this little light comes on and says, ding, ding, ding. And I look down there, and that little light is on that says low fuel. I had to buy some more. Well, <clears throat> I thought, I might can make it. I had a date with Pat was going to have a breakfast date. I said, I might can make it up there where gas is cheap. Gas has really gotten down, and I got a discount card at one place up there, save a nickel a gallon. And I thought, you know what? I'm not sure. I got... 15, 20 miles to go, the light just came on, the bell went ding, ding, ding. I think I'll pull in here and buy $5 worth, which is not two gallons, buy $5 worth, which will get me where I can get more of it. So I didn't just drive on hoping I could get there. I pulled into the service station, bought me $5 worth, went on, had breakfast with her. After we had breakfast, I drove across the street, across the bridge to the interstate, and bought some gas at $2 and a penny a gallon. Woo! And I got some gas for her. Why? Gas has got to be in my car if I'm going to drive it up the road. Now, I had to go on up to the airport, cut the grass up there. Then I had to go home. So I needed some more gas. I couldn't sit there and hope for more gas. Hmm. Come on, preach now, Frank. I couldn't sit there and think, I bought gas last week. You know, after all, I got plenty of gas. I bought $20 worth of gas just two or three days ago. No, no, no. When that tank gets on empty, I got to refill it. Hey, come on now, watch. After you've used your faith, received your healing, got enough money to pay your bills, your tank's empty, refill it. Stop right there. Go back to the Word. And you can do that driving down the road by saying, and say it, and say it. And you're refilling your tank so that you'll have enough power to drive on up the road and get the job done. So listen, faith comes by hearing. And it does not come by seeing a miracle or even having a miracle. Faith comes only by hearing and it doesn't come by having heard. Just because you went to the Hagen meetings and the Copeland meetings, you know, in the 70s and 80s and you pulled off some great big miracles, that's not enough to get the job done today. Just like I had to buy gas for my car, I got to replant the seed of the word of God because that's the only way faith comes. So until I'm with you tomorrow, hey. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord, and as always, thank God the Word works.